When there is a force to be reckoned with there must be a reckoning. North Korea's latest launch of a missile that flew over northern Japan is a signal that Kim Jong-un is now just one of those global forces. He is not Hurricane Harvey. He cannot realistically threaten the United States. But He has given ample evidence that he could, perhaps, if he were so minded, drop a nuclear warhead on Japan and drown South Korea in an atomic holocaust. The key here is the so-minded bit. Sure He is a weirdly shaped man with a weird hairdo surrounded by sycophants. And the similarities to his nemesis, Donald Trump, don't stop there. Seeing into his mind, specifically the soundness of it, is something that not even his closest associates have been able to do. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un killed relatives over China coup plot video A really scary moment for Japan but it takes more than an ambitious autocratic nutter to build a nuclear weapon or the impression of a nuclear weapon in the minds of the enemy. So what does the North Korean leader want, assuming HES not insane? He knows his country can be wiped off the face of the earth, with him at the epicenter of a nuclear firestorm. He knows he could get a few blows in against the South, perhaps Japan, before he was vaporized by the US. He will be certain in the knowledge that the outcome of a conflict with his neighbors would be to turn him into a grease stain in history. Image a nuclear weapon is Kim Jong-un's best way to get respect to war isnt what he wants. He is not a suicidal jihadi, He is the third Kim to occupy North Korea's throne and he wants, it seems, respect. Getting a nuke is a pretty good way to get it. It gives an impoverished dictatorship, perpetually on the brink of mass starvation, pet global status that its otherwise comical leader does not deserve. The mutually assured destruction mad of North and South Korea means that some kind of alternative has to be found no matter how unpalatable. This is the moment to call the North's bluff to offer the unconditional opportunity of negotiations before Kim gets hold of a really dangerous weapon. He's spun away from the influence of Beijing, but he is looking for a place in the world, perhaps a role beyond the comic book baddie HES so far played so well. Video UN Security Council to meet after missile, his vanity is the gap in his armor and it is through that gap that an offer to talk should be whispered. What about? It does not matter. What matters is that the region is brought back from the Chinese have called this tipping point. Isolating North Korea has failed as a tactic. It has driven the Kim dynasty to the point of threatening a war it cannot win but that it might fight. Kim is the kid excluded from school who has his face pressed against the chain link fence of international affairs. He'll be less dangerous if HES allowed into the playground.